How to make a logo in five minutes. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through a Canva tutorial and show you how you can make a logo in five minutes using Canva's free logo maker. Now, if you've never heard of Canva before, basically it's a design tool that not only allows you to create a logo, but you can also easily create other business materials like flyers, presentations, posters, business cards, and social media content from scratch. Or you can customize from one of the thousands of pre-made templates available. Now before we get started and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and tapping the bell icon and that way you'll stay updated with new and actionable videos designed to help your small and local business thrive online. And with that covered let's start creating your logo. All right, so the first thing we need to do before we can get started with our free logo is to head down to the description below this video and click on this link. That's gonna take you to Canva's free logo maker. Now, once you're here on Canva's site, what we need to do is come down here where it says, enter your company name and type in your company name here. So we've just popped in our company name and then what you wanna do is click make your logo. Okay, so now here what we need to do is give Canva an idea of what our business and brand is all about. So what's your industry? So come down here and click on the one that best represents your business type. So for us, we're gonna go design. All right, now what we need to do is come down here and select five of the logos that you like the look of. So this is gonna help Canva understand uh, your kind of preference in terms of your style, your brand, the way you want your logo to look. So come down here and select up to five. So we're gonna click this one, this one. I like that orange, this green. And remember, you want your logo to be modern, attractive, compelling, and you want your logo to communicate your brand, your business. So the last one we're going to pick is this one down here. And then you're going to arrive at Canva's sign up page. So if you have an account, all you need to do is pop up here and click log in. If you don't already have a Canva account, then come over to the left hand side and choose to sign up with Google or with Facebook, or you can sign up with your email address. So we're gonna sign up with Google. Then type in your email address if it hasn't already popped up. Then once you've signed up and signed into your Canva account, your new Canva account, you're gonna see this message appear. Basically, it's asking if you'd like to try Canva Pro uh, for free for 30 days. Basically, Canva Pro just gives you more out of Canva. Um, but however, you can just start off with the free version and if you decide you like Canva Pro, then you can upgrade later on. And we'll talk about that a bit later on. So what we'll do is we'll click exit up here. And as you can see, Canva's free logo maker has generated this logo for me. Now, I'm not too happy with the logo the way it is, so I'm gonna make some changes and guide you through some of the tools, elements, and features you can use to customize your logo and your design. So firstly, what we can do is look at some of the templates that we can choose from. So if I type in logo, you will see a whole bunch of logos appear. And what I could do is click on one of these. For example, if I like the look of this, I'm gonna click on this logo, and that's gonna automatically generate my new logo. It's got my business name that I typed in earlier, and in graphic design down here. Now, every single element here, you can change, you can customize to the way that you like. For example, I can click on this element here, and I can drag to resize the image. I can click on this one. Again, I can resize this element here. This text here, so for example, we are a digital marketing agency, so I'm gonna write that down here. And it's as simple as that. All you need to do is click, drag, drop, or click on the text and start typing. Then you have some more options up here. You can change the font to anything you like. So I could change it to this. I can come over here and change the size, the color, bold, italic, underline. I can change the alignment, uppercase, bullet points. I can change the spacing. Then if I click here, I can make the wording transparent. So again, I like it as it is. Then I can duplicate and position. Now position is basically you can select on an element and you can bring it to the back. You can bring it forward to the front, back. This is when you have lots of different elements and you want to create layers. So again, with the templates, you can come down here, you can click on each template and you can start editing. Again, if you want to add another page, you can do that and you can click on another logo, come down here 
make the screen a bit smaller so you can see both and see what logo you've created best represents your brand or business. So again, there's many templates for you to choose from. Once you're happy with the template, you can just click and start editing. Also, if you come down here, you can click on images and you can start adding images. However, these images, stock images, are great for when you're creating other business materials, which I'll go through later on. So again, if we come down here, we've got elements. Again, there's featured uh, and there's other grid shapes, frames and other elements down here. So think about images, pictures that you want in your logo and you can type these up here and then just click on them. So for example, uh, if I click on this element here, just for an example, and I can move that up here, you can just drag, drop, you can change the color like I mentioned before. And I like the look of that. And then you can come down here and click on text. Again, you can add text to your logo. So for example, I could click here move that down below get rid of this text and keep this cheesy i'm going to resize that by either dragging or you can double click and come up here and resize the text and then you can rename that now i like the look of that so far again i can make some edits to this logo but because this is just a tutorial we're going to quickly go through how you can create a logo yourself and then come down here we've got background so we can add a background come down here there's more so this is a paid stock image. Again, you have to upgrade to Canva Pro to use all these paid elements and images, stock photos. So again, we'll come down here. So we don't want a background. So I'm gonna actually delete the background here by clicking on the background and clicking delete. And then you can also upload your own images or logos or content that you wanna add into your media. So if we come back up to template, you can come over here and click file and you can see that your logo size is 500 by 500 so I'm going to come across here and if you're happy with your logo you've played around with the different colors you've added some of the different elements or images you've played around with the text then you can come over here and you can download so if you're happy with your logo just click download and the first thing you want to do is choose your file type. So PNG is highly recommended, especially for a logo, for high quality and um, high resolution content. However, you can choose JPEG, PDF, image, or GIF. However, because we're creating a logo, we're going to stick to a high quality PNG. And then come down here, you can resize the image if you like. However, you do need Canva Pro. Now, when you see these little crowns here next to different options, that means you have to upgrade to Canva Pro. Pro. So if you want the logo to have a transparent background, then you do have to upgrade to Canva Pro. Remember, it's 30 days free and you can cancel at any time. So you can do that and download your logo and then cancel Canva Pro and you will not have to pay, but you'll have your logo that you're after. Then come down here and click on the page you want to download. So I want to download this logo and then click done. And then to download, all you need to do is click download. And that will take a few seconds and then your logo is complete. Then what we'll do is we'll exit out of that. And there we have it. There's our logo. Remember, we have a white background. If you want to make it transparent, then you do have to upgrade to Canva Pro. But for now, we'll leave it as that. I'm happy with that logo. And that is all there is to creating your logo. It's very simple, very streamlined. Uh, it's very quick. The Canva logo maker uh, puts your logo together for you. And then you have the option to basically make changes and edit the elements yourself until you've found the logo that best represents your business. However, like I said before, if you want to use some of the paid media or images, stock images or templates, then what you can do is upgrade to Canva Pro. And Canva Pro just gives you more out of Canva. You can download photos with a transparent background and you have access to 60,000 free templates and 60 plus million premium stock images, photos, videos, and graphics. So again, that's really good value. We use Canva Pro because we use Canva on a daily basis to create different business materials. So you can try it for free for one month. And then if you're happy with Canva Pro, you can pay $9.95 per month but on a yearly basis or $12.95 and your build monthly. And then you have access to all these features. However, the free Canva is all you really need to get started with designing your own business material, your own logo. Um, and again, if you do want to download your logo uh, with a transparent background, then you do need to upgrade to Canva Pro, but you can cancel at any time. So once you've downloaded your logo, if that's all you want to use it for, then you can do that and then cancel the premium version and you don't have to pay. Now, if we click up here and go back to home, 
Canva isn't just a logo maker, you can actually create and design many different business materials from a Facebook cover, YouTube channel art, flyer, if we come across here we've got presentation, posters, um, Christmas cards, there's all sorts of pre-made templates that you can start designing, infographics, business cards, book covers and much more. So Canva is a great tool to firstly create your free logo, then you can actually create other promotional materials for your business. Canva is very easy to use, it's very streamlined, it focuses on drag and drop, which is great for beginners that want to start designing and creating their own content. So give it a go, take some time, create your logo, get some feedback from other people, and play around with your logo till you believe you've created the logo that best represents your business. And that is how you use Canva to simply create logos and other business materials, quick, easy, and for free. Now, thank you for watching. If you got value out of this video, make sure you leave a comment down below, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you in next week's video. Take care.